I've been in the field of music therapy for a long time. And most of the people I've treated have had an average length course of treatment. But Lara, who has a syndrome that affects both her cognition and her physical body, started MT in elementary school and has never stopped. That's unorthodox, I know. But listen, music therapy is now, and for decades has been, her primary therapy. Lara is an innately musical and sensitive person with such an appreciation of structure, of music, composition, experiences, instrument usage, and love of singing that it was very easy for me as a clinician to determine what goals and objectives should be in her treatment plan. We work on communication, American Sign Language, receptive and expressive communication, memory, reading, fine motor, etc. In fact, all domains, our all systems go full speed ahead. Lara's participation is so reliable and impressive that she's been in a documentary film on music therapy and she has performed for the governor at the State House in Boston. Weekly individual music therapy has been part of her life through events such as her aging out of a special education program and leaving her school, her sisters marrying and moving far away, her father's illness, hospitalization, and passing, Lara's leaving her family home and transitioning into residential living, and several health crises. Now, Lara is 43 years old. She attends and works to the best of her abilities at a day habilitation program. Other times, she travels with her mom, visits family, and lives safely and comfortably in her residence with four other women. So, why is Lara still receiving music therapy? Lara's still receiving music therapy because her parents saw its immense power saw her change in positive mood just like flipping a switch, faster and more safely than any medication for 60 continuous minutes with lasting after effects. They saw motivation, achievement, and joy not present in any of Lara's other endeavors. Lara's still receiving music therapy because it provides her many things that nothing else can. Music therapy addresses skills that no one else is working on. If MT were not incorporating goal-directed treatment out of school for two decades now, many of her skills would have receded or declined and disappeared, but they haven't. In fact, she's still making gains in all domains. And she has the emotional bonus of being full of joy and spontaneously exclaiming during therapy, great job, Lara, because she's very proud of herself. Lara is still receiving music therapy because she continues to benefit from the pure joy of thriving in a music-based clinical relationship that contains emotional satisfaction, achievement, creativity, variety, and beauty which is so important to her and which is so often overlooked in atypical individuals and people who have special needs. So that's why Lara is still receiving music therapy and that's why music therapy is Lara's primary therapy.